Good morning, Kettle Kids, and welcome to your Tuesday, May 25th. And this day in history, Jesse Owens, a track and field star, uh, actually set or actually ended up uh, in a Big Ten tournament in Ann Arbor, Michigan, set three world records and tied a fourth in uh, less than an hour, in about 45 minutes of competition. So absolute incredible feat. Jesse Owens, if you didn't know, was an amazing track and field star back in the 1930s and uh, set a lot of records that were held up until very, very recently. He was actually uh, a uh, student at Ohio State University, um, which if you don't know already, they represent their athletes as Buckeyes, which is the national uh, plant for the state, uh, or sorry, the state plant, excuse me. And uh, they award their athletes that accomplish, you know, big things uh, for them, stickers nowadays. So, you know, Jesse probably would have been covered with them because he actually went and competed uh, at the 1936 um Berlin Olympics and just absolutely dominated, uh, took home the most gold medals out of anybody in the competitions, I believe it was six, um, and has been enshrined in history as one of the greatest athletes to ever have lived. I mean, he was so amazing and so popular, you know, they put him on a stamp, they've written children's books about him, they even included him in comic books as a hero. Uh, in fact, the only, you know, uh, <laughs> one of the funny things, there's really nobody else that compared with him, and they had to actually have him in the comics race the Flash. So they had to put him up against a fictional character to give him good competition. Um, I mean, he was so amazing. Let me just show you this really quick clip so you can really understand what I'm talking about. On May 25th, 1935, at the Big Ten Championship in Ann Arbor, Michigan, Jesse Owens performed an amazing display of athleticism that would forever solidify his image as the Buckeye Bullet. About what he had done in the Big Ten Championship back in 1935, uh, where he broke three world records. Now, I'm not talking about the Big Ten records. He broke three world records and tied a fourth in the span of 45 minutes. One of the great individual performances in the history of intercollegiate sports. Sports have always been a way to kind of uh, bridge differences. He was one of the pioneers, as you know, Jackie Robinson was in baseball, but um, Jesse was for everybody. I mean, all over the world. He was the world celebrity. This was a time when track and field was a lot more popular and for African-American athletes particularly central to their emergence in modern sports. And so he rightly deserves to be celebrated for those reasons. In his junior year alone, Owens won 42 events, including four Big Ten championships, four NCAA championships, two AAU championships, and three at the Olympic trials. He was a marvel to watch running, uh, really special. You know, my father was a track and field athlete. And, um, you know, he, he told me a story about Jesse. Jesse was going to run the 220 low hurdles. They were sitting there and you couldn't really see the start, but the race started, four or five guys come into the stadium and know Jesse. And all of a sudden, here he comes, wham, right by him, just ran by all of them. And what had happened was he fell down, he hit a hurdle and fell down and got up and still beat them all. Those stories, you know, those, those legacies, you know, there's just nobody like that, nobody. All right, now that you understand how amazing an athlete Jesse Owens was, why don't we put our hands over our hearts, find the flag in the room, and please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. All right, Dark Candle Kids, let's talk a little about food for the day. Today we have a tuna sandwich or nacho cel grande with salsa, vegetarian beans, corn, mixed fruit, and milk. Well, you might be wondering what's going on with the weather right now. Well, guess what? More of that really warm stuff coming at you today. High of 85 degrees. It's going to be real hot out there. 
Um, pretty low chance of rain, but it will be fairly high in the humidity, so it's going to feel even warmer than it actually is in a sense. Uh, you know, pretty used to that in upstate New York where the humidity runs pretty high. Tomorrow we're looking at thunderstorms rolling in. The temperature will drop significantly, but not hugely yet to about 78 degrees. Thursday is when the big cool off starts. And then look at that temperature on Friday, a high of 49. It's going to feel like whiplash there, kids. Uh, pretty strong chance of rain through the day on Friday. And then you're looking a little warmer, a little nicer for your Saturday. So just to know that since you got Friday and Saturday off, Friday might be a bit of a wash. You might want to plan some indoor activities. But, you know, you can always figure out maybe uh, the rain breaks and you get a chance to get away from that. Just to let you see what's going on. It's that southern heat moving up from uh, the Midwest and Florida that's hitting us really hard right now, but it's going to get pushed down by a northern front over the next few days. So what does that mean? Well, it means basically the same thing we deal with uh, with anything in upstate, which is you're going to have a whole bunch of sunshine, and then they're going to get cold and the clouds moving in overhead anyways. So... Let's finish out our announcements the right way with that Kendall mission statement. The mission of the Kendall Central School District is to provide the knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and to compete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. Hope you guys have a terrific Tuesday, and if I don't get a chance to see it, remember to stay colorful Kendall.